we're getting started up here. I've got uh, a couple announcement things going on. I just uploaded a, a new uh, supervisors and saws video, some things to think about. And last week was uh, a little one on um, on some things to think about, five things to think about with with saw operators on the job. And so uh, just wanted to kind of let you know on those. And then also, um, if you haven't seen them, and then also um, coming up on May 10th, 11th, and 12th, and I, I just talked uh, yesterday to Bill Hasher. He's um, the grounds manager arborist for the Biltmore Estates in Asheville, North Carolina. And he's arranging the trees and uh, classroom facility for us and everything for March 10th, 11th, and 12th for the spring 2022 chainsaw storm sawing workshop. And so we'll be uh, be up there in, in Asheville for that uh, uh, that week. And uh, also uh, I spoke to uh, Mr. Uh, Tyler with the... the Samaritan's Purse, and uh, I know one of their directors will be there for the class, and then also uh, he may come by to check things out. So uh, done a lot uh, with several of their supervisors and directors uh, over the years, and looking forward to being up around their home ground there. So that's going to be um, a good workshop, I think. And uh, Bill has some a good facility there for us. So anyway, if you haven't haven't looked at that, you can send an email to info at forestapps.com and Laura can send out some more information to you. Or you can look on the website. There's a link off of the homepage that gives you the information on it. Asheville has uh, several hotels in the area. It's a pretty, uh, pretty uh, well-visited resort area and uh, mountainous area. It's very beautiful up there. And so uh, you may be able to uh, get a good hotel rate. And then also the airport there has uh, several flights a day coming in. Uh, so uh, it's a little bit easier to get in and out to than it is into Atlanta, I think, sometimes. So uh, just some, some things to, to think about there. But we hope we still have uh, several seats still available. And uh, so uh, it will be a class with only about 10 to 12 people. Unless I get more response than that, then I have a, another instructor who's going to be helping. So uh, if, you, if you've got a larger group that would like to come, then we can discuss that also. But right now it's a storm sawing workshop. I try to keep them small. I just do most of the instruction myself, and that's a, going to be uh, for a group of probably 10 people, maybe 12 at the most. So it uh, gets a lot of hands-on time and a lot of good discussion time. So we're looking forward to that. The um, other thing, upcoming calendar, I have a uh, week after next, we will be in Virginia with the Virginia DOT all week with a coaches class um, in Virginia for their employees. And then the uh, following week, we will be up in the Chicago area with the uh, Parks and Recs departments. So. Uh, looking forward to that one. Hopefully, uh, warm weather gets up that way before before we get there. Hopefully, but uh, we'll be up there either way it goes. I guess we had a, a great couple weeks. Past couple weeks, we had um, uh, a week in Pennsylvania two weeks ago with Allegheny County. Went very very well. Removed some uh, some dead trees around through the park with the training. And beautiful, beautiful park. If you ever get a chance to go up that way, this was in uh, Gibson, Gibson, Gibsonia, Pennsylvania. It's a um, a large park that's up on uh, a hill. It's um, just absolutely beautiful. I, I couldn't believe how many people were up there and uh, and the size of the park. So it's a uh, it's. Uh, a great place so you can check out some of the video I, I did on that a couple weeks ago and then last week we were up in Massachusetts we we started off in um, in the area of uh, East Longmeadow East Longmeadow right on the 
the Connecticut border, and then from there over to Plymouth and close to the Rock. And then we uh, went from there over to uh, Athen, Athon, up in the north central section, then over to Brewster on the Cape. And we got, we got rained out there. We'll be back there in October. But uh, it, it stormed like crazy. So we had to postpone that particular training. It's a beautiful captain's golf resort there. So it's, uh, uh, we had a great space to work, but it's a little bit too windy. Rain, we didn't, it was kind of moderate, wasn't too bad there, but then the, the, uh, the wind was uh, gusting to about 40 miles an hour. So it wasn't, wasn't real uh, uh, great for the training class. We left there though, and uh, ended up in Redding, uh, Pennsylvania, I mean, uh, Redding, not Pennsylvania, Redding, Massachusetts, and we had a great group there, and it went, it went super. So we've had a couple, couple good weeks, looking forward to, to the next couple. Next week, uh, we are home. Had an interesting uh, past couple days, though, here in Rome, Georgia. We've, uh, we've been part of the North Georgia uh, Wings over Georgia air shows for several years, uh, about seven or eight years, and they're looking uh, to getting a new series going. It's going to be for uh, regional air shows. It's kind of a uh, an air racing event, but uh, it's kind of a demonstration of it. But uh, we had some, some great things. I put a couple YouTube shorts up on that and had a lot of interest in them. That's uh, it's something to watch these these planes flying around the pylons and and so it's kind of like the Reno air races, but in a in a confined version, and it's uh, hopefully going to get started at a lot of uh, regional air show events. So I'm looking forward to be be part of that. Not flying in it, don't have a plane anymore, but it was it was quite interesting uh, judging and and working uh, safety for that. And uh, I just finished out kind of what I wanted to kind of chat about tonight. If we have anyone sign on, is uh, is looking at some ideas that I have on uh, supervisors and saws and so kind of kind of looking to to do that so haven't seen anybody anybody come up yet hopefully this thing is getting out I don't have much in the way of uh, of internet stream tonight but hopefully it's gonna gonna start to uh, work okay but the stream is way, way down, so I don't, I don't know if it's even going to be possible tonight. But at least we got through some of the, some of the announcements, and, and uh, y'all can check that stuff out. Um, I don't know if I can get that to come up. I was going to try this too to see, and see what. Uh, If this will actually play, this was a, a little short video that we had uh, put together going up to to Pennsylvania. So it's quite interesting. Coming back, we came through two snow squalls, and then that afternoon they had a, a huge incident on I-81 just off the Pennsylvania Virginia border. And there's about a 50 car pileup up there. It's amazing to go through, through one area, and there was uh, snow and ice coming down, and the temperature would go down about 10 degrees and back up, and then it would uh, it would go back to to uh, above freezing temperatures. So quite quite interesting. Watch how the weather works sometimes. Hopefully that that worked through that time. We'll see. Looks like it's breaking up though on the stream pretty bad. Hi Patrick. Um, I haven't heard any any updates. I I did uh, on the hexa steel hexa chain. Uh, Canada is is evidently starting to ship some of it. 
but I haven't heard anything new. I don't know if they're having some uh, holdup as far as the uh, uh, the ANSI standards on the chain or something for the U.S., but I, that's kind of what I think might be a little bit of a holdup on it now. It is a, uh, you know, what we consider to be a yellow label chain, so a professional chain, so that could be some of the holdup. Um, I did find out uh, over local dealer they do have it listed on the chain loops, uh, not priced out yet, but they are on the USA system. So, uh, but I couldn't find anything on the files for it at this point. But um, all the contacts I have are busy trying to get the saw stuff and the mower stuff ready out there. I mean, the, the um, trimmers and all of that kind of thing going. So it's, uh, I haven't talked to them in the past couple of weeks, but, uh, it's, uh, it's not going to make it, I guess, by today, which is the last day of the month, but, uh, I should hopefully know something soon. Yeah, Laura, it's, it's very fuzzy. I don't, I don't think I have, a enough uh, internet tonight to be able to to keep it up it's it's way down we got like 400 kbps i think one day seems like I, I get better results on the road because i got got the ability to get some 4g and 5g out there on the uh, cell phone connection but here at the house, I don't have cell phone, nor do I have a, a decent uh, internet for download. I mean, uh, upload. We can stream okay, but I can't can't upload very well. But it's not showing any drop frames; just a very slow. Uh, it's down to 188 kbs per second right now, so kind of useless. So Patrick, you heard it's gonna be late August. What uh, what area are are you in? Where are you located? Yeah, they they may be now going to um, kind of introduce it with the fall booking program on the saws. I'm I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I haven't I haven't spoken to my contacts in uh, two or three weeks. So. I don't know exactly what the latest is, but last I was told, and it was still, still something going to happen by the end of March, but it doesn't look that way now. So uh, New England Steel, I guess, had uh, informed them of that. Could be, possibly. Maybe we'll start seeing something a little bit sooner. But I really don't have any control over that. Wish I did, but um, you know, I was just part of some of the the marketing research. So, and it seems to be a lot of interest in it. Everybody I've talked to and and uh, been around, and then looking at the other countries, uh, especially Great Britain, and and now I I, I had seen some um, progress in sales in Canada. So. But it, it could be, like I say, the states are, are still trying to figure out the process on the um, ANSI requirements for it. So, but we'll see. Well, we passed through New York two times in the past week, so. It was nice weather up there for a couple days anyway. But thanks for dropping by, Patrick. Appreciate you coming by. Um, 500i, I don't know of anyone up uh, your area. Um, I think West Virginia, a Koger saw, had uh, a 500 that he was talking about was in stock he got into saws um, not sure somewhere probably around Somerville or 
that area, West Virginia. Uh, he might have one. That's about the closest I know. That's the only dealer I really am aware of up in that towards you. Um, I think uh, a couple weeks ago, one of the dealers that we have down this way in Georgia, in Douglasville, Georgia, had one. But they they won't they won't ship. You'd have to uh, you'd have to come down to pick it up so they they're not allowed to to ship it out of their their areas but that's uh that's the only ones that that i know of at this point i was told um day before yesterday that saws of several types husqvarna and steel was going to start getting really uh, scarce here over the rest of the year uh seems like there are some electronics from the Ukraine area, and also I was amazed to hear, but uh, evidently for small engine spark plugs, uh, Ukraine is a major supplier. So some of the uh, electronic and uh, uh, ignition parts are going to be hard for the manufacturers to to complete uh, the assemblies. So. It's it's going to get kind of kind of critical on stuff here uh, for the rest of the year. Evidently, I was told like the 362Cs with Mtronics and those kind of things uh, were going to be pretty pretty scarce for the rest of the year. So that's if you can find a a 500i, it's it's going to be one that's uh, going to be hard to get. Also, I think for the for the rest of the year. But that's a neat saw. I've ran one for a little bit, and it is quite responsive. If you haven't run one, it's amazingly responsive on the trigger. Very lightweight. I know there are some, uh, I guess, uh, 400s and 460s. I've, I've seen some of the dealers just, just got those in locally. I don't know about up your way, but but there's uh, a lot of those are... Uh, in from the uh, sawback orders for the past couple of months. So hopefully it's going to pick up a little bit. Patrick, if you're still there, what, what do you do? Are you uh, uh, logging or tree care or firewood or just like saws a lot? I don't know. This internet thing keeps going up and down. It, it's... It's about a two and a half minute delay, and then the KBs per second keep keep bouncing around. So I don't know. Well, very good. A love for power saws is a great thing to have. It's a very valuable tool and fun to play with too. Well, I was going to say. Um, Two a while ago when I was making some announcements, there's a, a podcast series that I have along the Four Steps Road is picking up quite a lot. We're starting to see a lot more followers and uh, just was also uh, sent a message and I'm now on Amazon Music Podcasts. So I'm on uh, Amazon Music, on Google Podcasts. Anchor Podcasts, Spotify Music and Podcasts, on the Apple Podcasts, and so uh, some of it is just the um, the audio off of some of the videos, but then I, I try to put several several new ones on, just the the voiceovers and the and the um, audio doesn't cover. So I've got uh, a couple of interviews on there. One of them recently with U.S. Forest Service. That's pretty cool. And uh, talking to Pete Duncan, who's the head of chainsaws and training for the Forest Service. And so there's a lot of good information on that, on their system that they do do right now. And then also a new thinking sawyer system that they're trying to get out and about. Uh, COVID got a little slowed down last year, but hopefully it's going to start uh, getting out to the field. And also um, I've got... Uh, uh, a couple new uh, interviews coming up here, and so it's going to be quite interesting. We get a lot of 
a lot of uh, a lot of interest in them. That's something that you can kind of uh, listen to it in your phone and traveling and and that kind of thing pretty easy. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, no, you can follow it. There's no cost to it. And it's uh, along the Forest Apps Road podcast. So you just go to any of the podcast providers and and type in that along the Forest Apps Road, uh, and or put Tim Ard, and it, it it should come up. And you just uh, press follow to to be a, aware and advised of when uh, new episodes came out come out. Yeah, Patrick, all all this is. They say because of Ukraine. I I don't know. There might be some of these things uh, from from Russia and China or something too, but um, from what I understand, uh, Ukraine's uh, manufacturing for um, a lot of parts with nickel and chrome and and steel uh, are are pretty pretty extensive. They supply a lot of different parts and things to uh, different industries and manufacturing, so it can get uh, get kind of tricky pretty fast. But hopefully we're able here shortly to have some other other supplies of those kinds of things. I think everybody's having a hard time viewing Patrick. Looks like you're the only one. But uh, if you have any other questions, we'll get those answered. But <clears throat> I think um, we'll have to sign off and see if I can't wait till the Internet comes up a little bit. Maybe do another one this week sometimes. But it's... Uh, it's kind of a slow go with the the internet situation tonight. So anyway, I appreciate you coming by and those of you, and you can uh, check it out. Hopefully, it comes out a little clearer on the recording. I'll try to try to get that posted up. So, but uh, anyway, that's uh, a little bit along the Four Steps Road for tonight. And appreciate you dropping by. And uh, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out the podcasts and. And if you have any questions, you can you can send those to uh, info at forestapps.com, and I'll try to get that answered. Or if there's any video ideas that you would like to see or, or different things explained on chainsaw operation and maintenance, uh, please do so, and I will try to get together some answers and videos uh, pertaining to that. So uh, that's what we do. So uh, you just let me know, and we'll we'll get it out there. So... Appreciate you coming by, and we will talk to you later. Good sawing. <laughs>